following program is brought to you by Radio Multiverse, that good old radio station at the center of Outlands, bringing you tunes and tales from all known dimensions. That's Radio Multiverse. Presenting Spirit of the Century. Follow the incredible adventures of the Centurions, men and women born on the first day of the first year of a century and gifted with amazing abilities far beyond the common man. Follow their adventurous lives filled with danger and excitement as they travel the globe, making groundbreaking discoveries and thwarting evil along the way. Starring Dowater Horse as Dr. Stoltz, Richard Hutnell as Bill Hex, Dries Lux as the Shadow of the Jungle, and Spuffnam Gamble as Ferdinand Fauston in... Spirit of the Century! And today, the Centurions will be starring in... The Mystery of Monster Island. One. Greetings, one and all. It's time for Radio Multiverse RPG with your host, Ramsey. And uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, apologize in advance if I'm uh, coughing and sniffling a lot during this recording, because I uh, last week I seemed to have um, caught a uh, cold at the Antwerp convention. But it was a, it was a very fun day. I even managed to buy uh, several uh, new RPG books. Oddly enough, because it's not really an RPG-related um, convention, so uh, it was worth it. In any case, after a quite uh, lengthy hiatus, we're finally returning to our uh, Spirit of the Century game. So, uh, we're gonna go back to the dangerous jungles of Monster Island. And uh, hopefully today our heroes will find out just what it, what is the mystery of Monster Island. R Richard, what do you think the mystery is? Well, considering my name is Bill Hex, I think the mystery is that there's been a portal open to another world <laughs> and another dimension, and we have creatures spilling through that are going to need to be thrashed, because I'm Bill Hex, and that's what I do. That's, that's, a, that's, a reason, that's a reasonable theory. How are you, by the way? I'm doing pretty good. I'm just, you know, living, surviving, doing my thing, and thrashing things. You know, well, it sounds like you're comple completely in character. Uh, that's good to hear. In character, uh, what's that? <laughs> okay, keep it up. Um, Greece, what do you think? What What's your theory on the mystery of Monster Island? That this is all an illusion and we actually drowned in the boat. <laughs> Whoa, that's <laughs> dark. <laughs> We're playing Spirit of Century, man, not Silent Hill. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> or maybe Actually, we are still in the process fun. of drowning, and we are just reliving our last phases, like Jacob's Ladder, who's actually yeah, dying that's, in that's, his last moment. That's Silent Hill. That's adventure. something that also, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, here be spoilers. I just uh, realized yeah. something. That would actually be a real fun thing to have happen. Is that yeah. playing oh, Silent Hill? That would be a fun one to play. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, I'd be willing to run kind of something like that. Thing. One day we'll see. But uh, today it's part of the century. So uh, two words come to mind: no exit. <laughs> yeah, those. Actually, there's always an exit. It, it you just have to know how to look. Yeah. Are you sitting on your bed now? <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Are you always sitting on your bed? Yes. Oh, okay. That's I don't know. If that's comfortable, <laughs> but I guess you can lie down whenever you want. And my dice just yeah. dropped on the floor. I'll have to take care of that later. Um, yes, well, 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 how are you? Good point. Uh, yeah. So, hmm. uh, well, uh, Ferdinand Fauston doesn't think there is actually anything mystical about the Monster Island and stuff. He thinks there is a completely rational explanation for everything that is happening. Of course but, uh, there is. Science! Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you keep thinking that there's a rational explanation. Go ahead. I dare you. 
But anyway, I had something prepared for this. Uh, in wow! <laughs> come one, come all. It's the Ferdinand Fausten Show, starring <laughs> Ferdinand Fausten, the martial artist philosopher, and some other people, but everybody knows it's the feast where it's at. Here, it, as he confuses everyone with his, with his philosophical quotes that have nothing to do with the situation at hand, and shows his lack of knowledge of Wing Chun Kung Fu by using moves in all the wrong dire situations, and the descriptions not going at all like they should go. Witness, as a player who has never drank a single drop of an alcoholic beverage, trying to uh, role-play a drunken character. The Ferdinand Fausten Show, coming to theaters near you. Well, never actually. Yay! Sweet. Awesome. Woohoo! Stop us chasing me! <laughs> I liked it. Mm hmm. Also, that was I'm really missing good. one die. For a German. He's trying to take over the show. Kill him. Make him the co host. <laughs> oh! Uh, Spoken of funny story, um, in our other game, our Mutant Masterminds game, our, our newest player, he plays like a drunk, drunken homeless person, and last time he was actually getting into character by drinking. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yeah. Wow, silence. Uh, <laughs> well, um, oh, and lastly, um, I just, oh, what uh, do you think? I don't know what's uh, so funny about that, because isn't it expected that he would get into character? <laughs> hmm. By drinking. Good yeah, point. but he actually, he actually, yeah. he actually, he actually drinks. He's like uh, slightly tipsy during the game. <laughs> okay. Well, huh. that explains. <laughs> sort of what... yes, if I would play the Shadow of the Jungle, I should wear nothing but a, a leather skirt or something. Ooh la la. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Do it. <laughs> can he pull it? Though the question is, can he pull it off? <laughs> I can if I suck in my gut. <laughs> ah, innuendo, how I've missed thee. Oh, and uh, Dries didn't explain it because he like shifted the attention towards somebody else. But uh, his computer broke down again, and uh, I had to borrow yeah. him my, t my uh, tablet PC once more. <laughs> How about not so long ago, actually, last time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It one more time, I'm throwing down. my computer out. Yeah. Weird. Do you have a replacement? If he had a replacement, why would he be using my tablet mm. PC? Mm. It bears thinking before you throw things out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and it's uh, just a mess. last. Uh, Sorry? Just, uh, Sorry? Nothing. It's just an expression. I'm not literally going to throw it out. I'm just going to buy a new one or something. Uh, maybe you ah, should do that. <coughs> anyway, uh, and last but not least, we have uh, Dawa. What is your theory on the mystery of Monster Island? Science! That's this is your secret base. This is a secret base of a scientific genius in the field of autorobotics. And these are his creatures, his minions, his hands. And we are going to find out what it is and, call, and, call, and uh, compare notes for science. Mm. Wow, Funny story, actually. So Most of you are partly correct, but I've said too much. <laughs> also, uh, World Tai Chi Day was, uh, was a blast. Oh. I saw a lot of, uh, I saw a lot of <laughs> interviews. I'd uh, like to thank all of you that are listening that know who have actually shown up and fire on those that didn't. I didn't show up. Bad. I Very thought we bad. had a game. I thought we had a game that day, but apparently everybody cancelled, but nobody told me. That's something you have to pick up with these uh, these irresponsible louts that have no respect for your time and what the hell are you doing? Anyway, sorry, that, that was very that was unprofessional of me. I'll just take a new die and stop looking for the one I lost. Yes, dies are replaceable. All right. Uh, what was I saying? Ah, yes. Let's do this, guys. Uh, Come on. Uh, theory. Da, 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 da. Yes. Yes. Let's go. 
Okay, cool. Uh, first up, as per our uh, tradition, it is time for today's uh, recap. Because it's been a while, so I think we need one. Because I doubt anybody still uh, knows what's going on. Anyway, yeah. let me uh, got, click We this. got something coming through the jungle. We got something yeah. coming through the jungle at us. Ooh, I've uh, got a Richard? bunch of little things that I just zapped the hell out of out from my body. Richard? Richard, the recap does what? it better than you do. <laughs> yes! Nope. Now everybody please be quiet so I can push the play button. Play it. When last we left our heroes, they had just rejoined with the shadow of the jungle, and together they defeated a giant spire which was menacing the Centurions. Together they traveled under the secret underground tunnels underneath Monster Island's hills, and found a way into the island's dense and dangerous jungle. There, while searching for clues to the whereabouts of the men of action, they were suddenly ambushed by a group of aggressive natives. These strange, green-skinned, splenetic savages were hell-bent on bringing the lives of our heroes to a pointy and sharp end, but were quickly overcome by the Centurion's martial prowess. Later, they continued their inland trek, but were suddenly confronted by yet another menace. A group of miniature mechanical monstrosities had spotted their presence, and while these spherical beings posed little threat to our heroes, they summoned a danger of monstrous magnitude. An enormous mechanical beast, armed with deadly buzz saws and pincers, beleaguered our surprise adventurers. With nowhere to run, it seems the only option is attacking the monstrosity head on. But will they survive such a perilous predicament? Find out in today's electrifying episode of Spirit of the Century! Yay! Woohoo! And there you yeah. have it. Nice. Thank you. Alright. No. <laughs> so, uh, yes. <laughs> Shut up, you. Let us get. Did somebody say boo? Yes. <laughs> somebody. It was sarcastic boo. It was probably. It was probably Dries. <laughs> yep. Who else would say boo? <laughs> okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Let us get start. So, um, the giant, the giant, uh, like I s said in the recap, the giant mechanical monstrosity just crashed through the trees and it looks like it has spotted you and is planning to attack. S um, if I were you, I'd start by rolling alertness. And posting the initiative roll in the uh, Google chat. Yes. Okay. Oh boy. I am slightly distracted. Where is... Minus Meanwhile, two I need to put roll. the music. Uh -huh. Alertness. Let's roll. <coughs> uh, well, yes. Got a fair. Uh, I bow. Uh, I borrowed some actual uh, fate dice to Dries, so <laughs> he's all yes. set. Um, I rolled a fair. Yeah, I got a great. In the chat. Just posted in the chat. Oh, yeah. uh, I can't. No. I can't have that side. Bar oh, hold on then. Can somebody po post for Dries then? I'm busy. Yes. What did you have? A great? A fair. One second. That's a type O. There you go. So all that I can't zoom in here. Oh, that's a crappy roll. Reese took all my good dice. <laughs> yeah, I still roll the fair. Use this best <clears throat> Okay, and let me just post the um the order in the chat as well, since we're doing that anyway. Then I don't have to look at <laughs> <through> the papers. <laughs> okay. Uh, <sighs> Dr. Starch as a fair. Okay. Everett. Dries has a fair. Oh. Great, great. Um, Thank you, Google Hangouts, for having such tiny little letters. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Oops. Um... Uh, 
Is it just me or is that music loud? Is it too it loud? Is, uh, it's louder than usual, but finish with the initiative uh, range. Is that better? Is that better? Yes. <coughs> okay. Oh look, a car. Huh. Would you shut up about the car? <laughs> it's next to a plane flying, flown by a gorilla. Um, <laughs> what should anyway. I pay attention to? Yes, folks, it's a spirit of the century. Sanity is optional. There we go. That's the order. That's, that's Call of Cthulhu, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then, um, yes, so I would like to... Wow. I like how Ferdinand and Bill are named by the characters and the other two are named by the players. <laughs> Indeed. Oh well, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> so I would like to uh, do my martial arts uh, stunt. Can I do it? It's a full action, I think. Which stunt do you want to use? Be more specific, please. The martial arts, it's a name. It's the name of a stunt. Oh, sure, you can always does... use that. You don't need to ask permission. Uh, yes, but it's a full action. But anyway, <laughs> so uh, Ferdinand actually would uh, like to say, looks like we are now committed. And he uh, uses the martial arts stunt against the tree harvesting robot. Sort of... Uh, Test its abilities and stuff. Okay. Oh, by the way, do I need to like describe what it looks like again? Because I just yes. realized it it's been a while. Yes, you right? do. Okay. Okay. So it kind of has a crustacean-like appearance. Uh, at the front, it has like um, one arm as like a pincer, mm -hmm. and the other is like a buzz saw. It has a singular red glowing eye, and uh, at the end, the the like the the. Mm -hmm end of its body there's like a sort of um place there where it like stores all the um harvested lumber and that part is like um tracked with track wheels under it and the front actually has like like crab like legs so the front has like legs and the and the back has track wheels it is a half track how yes. genius <laughs> so i it think doesn't I look, it doesn't look feet. very maneuverable I uh, yes. think I have to use my fists yes. skill here. Mm. Yes, you do. Okay, it's a great one. Okay. <laughs> great. Okay. Wait, hold on. I Let think me see good. if that if that hits. <coughs> That's a slightly better roll. Um, actually, you just you just hear a clonk as you strike its uh, metallic shell. It doesn't seem to hurt him. Uh, but uh, hmm. so does that mean I can't damage it uh, with my fists? You Breaking might be able one. to get through it if you hit it a little harder, but it seems yeah, to be seems... yeah, extremely sturdy. Uh, you might need to think of something, or thing. maybe, or maybe yeah, like, yeah, use your brains. I'm not gonna say anymore. This <laughs> no. thing is made out of metal, I suspect. Mm, yes. Some sort of yes. alloy. Maybe you should have uh, studied Muay Thai instead of Wing Chun. <laughs> <laughs> also, another specific uh, thing I would like to ask. How ma maneuverable are its uh, chainsaw and its pins or appendages? You haven't uh, seen it, it use it yet, so you don't know. I don't know. You'll have to nope. wait. You'll find out next turn. Uh, can really I, by looking at it, uh, can I, by looking at it, uh, figure out? Uh, if okay, roll science. Wait, can't, isn't that a uh, full action? Because I was going to do the same thing. Actually, hmm. yeah, you. Mm, yeah, actually, looking for weak spots. Dawa has a point. If you're looking for weak it's spots, that's, a, that's yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You you haven't had the time to fully study it uh, yet, uh, I'm Sorry. You swung into action like a true daring hero. <laughs> yes, real centurion. Yes, uh, but I'm a fake uh, centurion. Uh, what that uh, ability does is uh, uh, to study an opponent and uh, engage him and testing his defenses with my own martial art 
maths techniques. Wait, so... wait, does martial art actually do something that, that I forgot about? Do I need to look it up? Hold on. <laughs> now I'm wondering. <laughs> Suddenly I have a flashback to a certain exalt and to exalted fighting. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, right? right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, here we go. Uh, martial arts. <coughs> ah, you may use your fist to study an opponent by engaging him. Huh. Huh. Then you don't do damage, but instead you look at his. If you succeed, or you have. Yeah, sorry, Spiffin, I forgot it did that. Um, if you succeed, you have gained insight to target target's fighting techniques, and you may place an aspect on a target. Uh, oh, like that. Oh. Yes. Hmm. Ah, so it Did doesn't he succeed? Do, it doesn't do damage. Well, actually, actually, no, you didn't succeed because I said he like blocked your your attempt. What? You don't <laughs> see? No, actually, let me let me actually explain it like this. You don't see any weak spots. This 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 thing is like a tank. Uh, um. So it's uh, appendages, I take it. They don't uh, may, maybe are just too hard to rotate, uh, or they don't uh, uh, rotate, uh, or they can be rotated uh, fully, so they can't yeah, they, be snapped. Yeah, they look, they look right? like they have the same kind of uh, movability as uh, like uh, hu humans, human ar arms, yes. Mm. But yeah, you okay. haven't gained any, yeah, mm. I've like now read it, you haven't gained any insight, sorry. Mm. It failed. Well, uh, okay then. I guess that's my turn then. Yeah, I still. Yeah, you. It's like it says. It, it's like a maneuver, but I still have to make make an opposed roll. So I roll too high. Sorry. Um, also, I would like to uh, say, um, I I can't find any weaknesses in uh, about this uh, metal uh, spider uh, thing. Crustacean. 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 Yeah, it is a crustacean, not a spider. <laughs> Look at his legs. Looks more like some sort of a strange, strange crab or something. Okay, I, I'm just not paying that much attention. It seems. <laughs> okay, next it's uh, Bill Hex. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, remember I just shocked myself because those little robots were on me. Oh right, yeah, I completely forgot. I completely forgot. Wow, I remember that. That's good then. <laughs> good. good oh, that's but why you're it, damaged. You, yeah, that's why you got some stress yeah. on you. You see, you see, Bill's uh, pushing himself up off the floor every now and then. He his body jolts with an electric shock. <laughs> God damn little <laughs> buggers are gonna. It seems he has some tension in his body. <laughs> and then he sees the big crab di uh, thing, and uh, he looks up. Oh, this is gonna hurt! And he jumps straight at it. Superman punch! Boom! Okay. And and, and specific and, you aim for? I am just gonna hit it with everything I have, and I'm using. Um, um, the, uh, the, uh, little thing that I created the, for electricity, and I'm just gonna hit it with a massive punch of electricity. <coughs> okay. Go ahead. Da, 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 da. Swiggity. I got two above superb. Okay, that's cool. Legendary. Let me see what I roll. Superb, epic. Legendary, yes. Legendary, I think. Legend uh, I also think he gets forward. a plus one from his... Uh, I don't oh, think. yeah. Did you so... add that? No, I didn't. It's, um, a, it's an eight. That's what would that high. be? Awesome? Awesome, uh, yes. Let me look up. Yeah, I'll just grab my... I for completely forgot my cheat sheet. No, it's legendary. Oh. No, it's awesome. Wait, yeah, legendary. It's legendary. Okay. It's eight. is legendary. Wait a minute, I've got legend. I have the damn it. book next to me. Of course, I can look up the it's damn book. Legend. Wait for it. Dairy. 
Okay. Mm, they look cheesy. Okay, ah, Richard. Richard. Jack. Yes. Yeah. You, you hear a clonk. You slightly dented it. Whoa. <laughs> River Legendary. <laughs> yeah, we'll here. exactly. Hello, folks. We'll be here all night. <laughs> Maybe you need you to use what? your brains. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. I can do something. No, you can't. Yes, you've damaged it. Your turn's yeah, over. Yeah, I can. Your turn's over. <laughs> No, I, I can I can add something to it because I can use one of my fate points here and then I can add like a bonus, can't I? Mm, uh, not, not anymore. After the result, not after the result has been. Um, no. Sorry. Uh, no, hold on. Wait, why? Because I said so, and it's, more... and it's in the rules and stuff. No, it isn't. After no, it is. you roll, we're always allowed to add something if it's a bad thing. Yeah, you were in a tree. Yeah, I take out Jungle. my bow and yeah. arrow and I shoot one of the little things. Okay, they're not attacking you directly though, and Bill took out most of them. They're... Are you certain you want to attack them? Yes, distraction. I have no idea what I'm going up against, so I take out the little ones first. <laughs> you could, If you don't know what you're going up against, maybe you should study him. Hmm. Yeah. But it's up to that you. Was my head. Uh, survival. Ah, alertness, yes. Look at those joints. Mm. Those are some sexy joints. With my alertness, <laughs> I rolled a great. Okay, nice. you rolled a great. Um, let me see. <clears throat> you're like it. You you're like looking at it, and you you notice something. It has like an eye. You know what a crab looked like, right? Yeah. In the middle of like the shell where usually the face is, that's like a big red eye. You think if you like move or move, um, maneuver like to the side of it or even to the back of it, it won't be able to see you. Uh, limited he has got literally a cone of vision. And, and you notice from, um, wait, hold on. Uh, Actually, you rolled a great, right? Let me see what I can give uh, you. Yes, I rolled a great. Uh, oh, in that case, I'm going to tell you, it has a blind sight, and that eye, that clearly looks a little uh, we weaker. That's not as heavily armored as the rest. Duh, so it's not. You've actually discovered two aspects, blind sight and weak spot. Yes. There you go. Swiggity. You discover two of the monster's aspects. That's usable. Let's make the blind side blind. That you'll do next turn. Yes. <coughs> okay, uh, next uh, up. Do you, uh, wait, wait, one, one. Big sh Shadow, do you want to... Crack? I yell. And don't you tell them about the eye? Uh, what was it again? Blind sight and weak spot. Yeah, yeah just yes. just say that they need to aim for the eye. Yeah, aim for the aim for the the, the eyes. 